When I say bananas, you say peppers. And I'm thinking today is gonna be a video that you guys are probably going to really enjoy. It, ooh, what is sticking? Oh my gosh, okay, I just opened an 80s box for Graveyard Girl. I think I told you guys about that already, but um, I finally opened it. I think that this is gonna be a video that you guys are really going to like because not only is it nostalgic, but it's also miniature and I know when we opened either a month or a couple of months ago the little miniature real foods that were actually Shopkins you guys loved those I think that most of you guys like me love little miniature things you guys are gonna see me wearing this a lot like I've kind of I've kind of been a mess lately and I literally just put this outfit on the other day and I loved it so much that I literally just am wearing it again today. I think I filmed four videos now in this outfit, but on different days. The other day on Etsy, I literally just went way deep down the rabbit hole. I literally just typed in like vintage 90s. I was just clicking through page after page after page after page because the 90s room, it is gonna happen before December 31st of this year. So I've just been looking for additional things that I could decorate that room with. But basically I was just looking for things to inspire me, all things 90s. But what I ended up running across is something that I know that I had at least one of when I was a kid and it was something that I had completely forgotten about. So if you guys had these, you have to let me know. But I found a listing that had every single one that was ever made. They are mini caboodles. Can you guys even believe this? Oh, this eyelash, oh, it wants to go. It has just been trying to leave all day. I think these are from 95. Oh my God, even earlier, 93. Huh. They are necklaces, they're charms. Each one has something different inside of it. You guys have kind of slowly put it in my head to leave some things in their original packaging because I think that it would be fun to decorate the 90s room in some aspects with like putting, like if you guys ever go to like uh, comic stores or anything and they will display like action figures and stuff in their original packaging and like tack them up to the wall. Either what I'm saying makes a whole lot of sense right now or none at all. I'm going to look at these different caboodles because I think a couple of them actually have makeup products inside. Like it looks like one. You know what? I don't think that we have them all. I thought that this was a complete set, but I don't, I don't think that it is. Oh no. Gosh dang it. I wonder if I got flim flammed here, you guys. Um, Cause I definitely thought that I was getting a complete set, but it looks like some of them in here are repeats. Wow, no, they're like a different collection altogether. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just like having a moment, like discovering things as we go along. So this packaging is obviously definitely very different. Let me see if they came out in a different year too. No, they're all from 93. Okay, I swear that I had this one, which unfortunately I don't see today. So we're still probably on the quest for this one. It had a couple of hair combs inside of it. Um, so I guess I'll just, I don't know, should I ruin this for you guys? Is this ruining it to like go through all the different ones? This is the one that for whatever reason, it looks like I have two exact copies. Um, so this is called Jewel Menis. So I think I'll save this one for the 90s room because it actually still has a KB Toys sticker on it. Do you guys remember KB Toys? Oh my God, um, flashback. We will open this one. I'm also just really looking forward to wearing this as an accessory every other day of my life. It came with three like bedazzle rhinestones. I think that they're saying this one is like a little locket. It literally says photo locket right there. Um, <laughs> let's see how cute this is. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
we have a nice yellow glittery top oh that's why i thought there was a pink stone because that's uh the color on the front so i wonder if that's what they mean by pop in you can uh change the color of the front crystal maybe oh no okay look uh that's where you pop in the stones so you can put pictures of you and your besties in the front uh let's go ahead and pop in it doesn't pop too well i guess that's as popped as it pops um and then i'll put yellow on the other side Ooh, totally unintentionally but i feel like i did that kind of great there's teal and yellow teal and yellow Woo! now am i going to be able to close this yes kinda maybe that was a big mistake Definitely, I did just order these to A, open with you guys, because I wanted to know if any of you guys remembered these. Um, and then B, I was just very excited about having little miniature caboodles necklaces. It comes with one of those little like clip-on barrel style things. So I think we just like do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Time to put it on and see how fashionably gorgeous we can look. Ta-da! Look at that! I must admit, I might put this on a different type of chain so that, you know, it looks a little different. Like, I was kind of thinking maybe about attaching it on a ball chain or something. I feel like that would be really cute to make it kind of more choker length. These are all from the same series it looks like and then this one was somehow different so um oh my gosh these are so cool we have to try and find these this one i would definitely like to find it has fashion plates did you guys ever have that where you would like take a crayon um and you could like mix and match and create different almost like etchings i think they're called what are those called or like rubbings I don't know. I'm not saying something right. There's also a blush stamper, which looks like it came... No, okay, that one's a kaleidoscope, which that just sounds fun. What does that say? Lip gloss, pop-up mirror, this one. I can't even read that. Lip gloss and bracelet. I feel like I had this one too that was like a diary and a pin. I don't know. There's lots of cute ones that I'm definitely on the quest for. I almost want to say that I had one that had like a comb. The other ones look really familiar to me. Or uh, maybe I had this one that had a diary because I always loved like little miniature stationery when I was a kid too. Let's open this one. So this one looks like less makeup but more just like jewelry and accessories. This one is really adorable as well. It's got a nice pink and teal theme. Oh my gosh this is crazy. Like the actual bottom of the caboodle is a nail file I guess but this also looks like a nail file. There's like something sticking out of it on the top over here. Okay, let's try and open it up. Oh, this one like, oh, this is a weird one, you guys. So this definitely looks like a nail file on the bottom. This is also a nail file that was sticking out on the top. And this one doesn't open up, but it swivels open. And it looks like we have some nail decals in here. That's the other thing. Very, very cute. I hope I can shove this nail file in all the way though, because it was like definitely, that's kind of a weird one, you guys. Like I feel like it's just always permanently sticking out, but I'm also just trying to pull it out. I feel like I'm gonna have to break this one a little bit to wear it, which is kind of sad. Oh, this nail file has like a bit of plastic on the end and the bottom is made out of plastic. I wonder why they did that. It's so weird. Because who would want to just wear a necklace with a nail file sticking out of the end? But it has a purple and teal uh, necklace. Ta-da! Look, I'm hypnotizing you. Ah. I don't know what I'd hypnotize anyone to do cluck like a chicken. Do you guys believe in hypnotism? I feel like some days I do and some days I don't. Some days I feel like it's the power of suggestion. We've got 
two more caboodle doodles. Is this the same freaking one again? Ugh. No, this one's just a charm necklace, which aren't they all charm necklaces? What's going on here, little lady? Tell me your secrets of caboodles. I'm trying to read this KB sticker. So it was $4 and now it's $5? Like what's up? What's happening here, KB? I heard, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I heard that that's kind of one of the reasons that KB Toys went out of business because I always wondered because I always felt like KB had the best toy deals. I heard that there was like a red price markup scandal because you would go into KB and it wasn't necessarily like supposed to be a discount toy store but when you went into KB it did always seem like everything was marked down so you felt like you were getting a better deal but I guess that they somehow just I don't know confused everybody and like you thought you were paying cheaper but you were actually paying more expensive is that making any sense or they were I guess they were marking up the retail value of the toys was what it was and then they acted like they were slashing prices or selling it to you at a discount price I think that's what they were doing but Maybe that was just a rumor. You guys have to let me know if y'all heard anything about that. This one, like I said, is a charm necklace. And I'm anxious to see what that means because they're all charm necklaces. But let's go ahead and open the lid. You guys, I love caboodles. I feel like you see caboodles everywhere now, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is so cute. So what was inside this one? is actually like an even tinier caboodle charm. That is too cute. I guess if this is like too mega sized for you, you can just wear this teeny tiny one. And it looks like this open, oh my gosh, it does. Look you guys, even the little tiny baby caboodles opens. That is too cute. This one, is already on a lanyard necklace. That is pretty cute. And it has this little tag on it because it also came with stickers. So you can put, doesn't that almost look like Polly Pocket? You can do the front and back. So you can just put these little stickers on there, but that's really cute. I love that. I love the fact that it opens like that. That's adorable. Maybe it is just the 90s kid in me that just like screams when I see this color combination, but there is just something about purple, hot pink and teal combined together that I'm like, oh, Love that color palette. I can't believe it's not butter. Uh, I can't believe this is our last caboodle doodle. Oh my gosh. Look, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be her by the end of the day. A caboodle on your belt loop, two caboodles around your neck, a caboodle on your head, a caboodle in your hand. You just got caboodles all over. I want a freaking caboodle on my head. Which one is that? Oh my God, one of them is actually a hair bow. That is amazing. That's what I need in my life. Okay, we're gonna find the rest of them. Just you wait and see. Okay, we've got this one, which the, for whatever reason, like these just look more like caboodles to me, right? Like these, you know, they kind of look like caboodles, but I never had a caboodle that looked like that. I always had the really square rectangular ones rectangular that's not a square i don't feel like i ever had any of the rounded ones was i missing out uh this one is very cute as well it's pink and purple and it comes with a purple string look at that um so let's open it up and see what treasures are in here okay so this says it's a button cover button covers I'm not 100% sure that I understand what that means. I understand what it means, but I'm <laughs> trying to, I don't think I've ever seen a, a button cover in my life. I think that there was one that I dropped. Oh, here it is. Uh, okay, that looks like the letter S. I was gonna say, I thought it would say like C, like a, a, a letter C for caboodles, but it just looks like L-A-S. Guess I have it in the order of S-A-L, Sal. Who's Sal? And then we have, another little empty caboodle necklace. 
Um, honestly, I didn't really care what any of the contents inside was gonna be. I was just excited for the little caboodle necklaces, which then I went to an extreme and now I've got six caboodle necklaces, but I am kind of on the quest for more. My thirst for teeny tiny caboodles has not been quenched. These are definitely adorable and a trip down memory lane. So you guys have to let me know, do y'all remember these? Did any of you guys have any of these? They are super duper cute. Just a total trip down memory lane, 1993. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Until I see you guys again, which I hope is gonna be very, very soon. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery, and I will see you guys again, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. But uh, I love you guys, and I will talk to you very, very soon. <laughs>